Today we're going to be looking at the Convoy 3x21D. This is a monster thrower flashlight that Convoy recently put out there and it's definitely one of the most powerful throwers you can buy, especially for a reasonable price when you're comparing it to other similar flashlights. So this is basically everything that you get in the package and you get this nice little handle here as well. Everything's included. Now the batteries you have to select yourself. It comes with three different battery types and I got the Molycell P42As because they just provide higher draw rates. So especially with uh, FET driver in here, you want something that's able to support that, pump out those maximum lumens. I'll show you the light compared to a few other larger flashlights that I own. Okay, so this is the Imolent MR90. All right, it's bigger than the MR90. Okay, and of course, uh, let me just grab my L8. So Convoy L8, and that's the one a lot of people have been asking about as well. And of course, you've got the L21B here on the side. So yeah, the three times 21D is definitely the largest out of all of them. L8 is probably the longest, but um, overall mass, I would say that one. Um, funny enough, the Imolin MR90 is actually significantly heavier. I can feel it's probably another, I don't know, another 50 to 100 grams heavier than the three times 21D. Here's a close up of the three times 21D rugged and sturdy construction really like this added handle you can detach it like i said before and yeah i find the light doesn't really get hot enough for me to actually use it anodizing you've got this slightly glossy anodizing and it's definitely more on the smooth side there's some shallow cutouts on the head as you can see here on the side just over here as well and it's not as deep as the ones that you find on the Convoy L8. Battery tube is quite grippy due to this fine knurling pattern. I'm always impressed at high level of build quality that Convoy managed to achieve. They're just a classic flashlight brand that pump out great quality flashlights for reasonable prices. Let's check out what you get under the bezel. So you've got the SBT90 in the center there and the reflector smooth reflector it's 90 millimeter bezel as well and this is really quite a gigantic reflector in there you've got anti-reflective glass as well the bezel is slightly crenulated so you'll be able to tell when the light is on maybe use it to break a window as well the lights operated through this one switch here on the side okay it's not mushy, it's uh, got to give it a firm press to activate it. And the great thing is that you also have USB-C charging, onboard charging. So no need to have any other anything else other than a, your own USB-C cable. The batteries can only be accessed by unscrewing the tube here, okay, from the top of the tube. So you can't really access them from the bottom because the bottom has a bunch of screws and that attaches a little plate with the springs in them. So uh, yeah, basically the three batteries go in like that. Okay, this plate at the bottom is screwed in underneath this cap. And you get this little, little uh, part that makes contact with the three batteries like that. And from there, basically, you screw the light on. So I'll just give you a rundown of the different modes. So you switch the flashlight on, remembers the last mode, press and hold, okay, to go up and down modes. I've got it on the stepped ramp mode at the moment, but what you can do is that you can click this button six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that will switch it to the smooth, ramping mode if you want okay at any point you can actually double click so that will give you turbo okay um, basically you just click and hold to ramp up and down you know whether you're in the step ramping or whether you're in the 
uh, smooth ramping mode. Now you can access strobe by clicking three times when the light's off. Okay. Now with lights off, you can actually access something called tactical mode, which is pretty cool. So four clicks, one, two, three, four. Oops, one, two, three, four. Go do it pretty quickly. And um, what this does is that it allows you to activate turbo um, just by pressing and holding that side switch. Okay, there's a slight delay maybe like half a second delay. And to deactivate that um, tactical mode, just got to press it four times again, like that. There you go, it's deactivated. You can also check the battery voltage by clicking five times, one, two, three, four, five, and it'll flash it out. So that's 4.1. So four, pause, and one. There's two ways you can lock the flashlight out. You can click this button 10 times to lock the light out electronically. 10 times again to unlock and you can also just unscrew the battery tube like that as well also comes with low voltage protection and temperature control protection so i ran a bunch of ceiling bounce tests this is one on 100 percent and uh, ran this one for about three and a half minutes and you can see here starts off at 100 percent and just after one minute it begins to step down by one and a half minutes to two minutes you can see it's about 20 percent of the output i try to reactivate turbo again it goes up very quickly and steps down again within about 30 seconds to 20 percent this is a longer ceiling bounce test that i ran on 100 percent and you can see that same step down pattern in the beginning at around one and a half minutes of turbo and the interesting thing is that it steps down to about 20 percent but then it actually goes back up again Okay, around about the five minute mark, four to five minute mark goes just over 40% before stepping down once more. And um, yeah, pretty much you get that same effect again when you reactivate turbo at the 12 minute mark. It goes up, then goes down again. Really depends on the ambient temperature of your room, your the area that you're testing the flashlight. So here's another test that I ran on the 40% mode and it manages to hold pretty much 95 to 100% of output way past the 10 minute point where it drops to about 50% of output. You can also reactivate, reactivated the 40% uh, mode again, just after 20 minutes, and you still get about 95% of total output for about five minutes before it steps down again to 50%. Also ran some tests on my Oppo Light Master Pro, and you can see I've managed to get pretty much 1.8 kilometers of throw, which is incredible. I don't think I have any other LED flashlight that can throw that far. And um, I ran this test a few different times and also took some measurements on switch on and I actually got two kilometers on a bunch of different readings. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't obviously hold on two, but um, yeah, it's interesting that, you know, it has that sort of burst of power right at the start. So some considerations you might want to be where of the 100% mode does not last longer than one to one and a half minutes before stepping down. I think the light could have been pushed a bit further in that regard because it didn't feel that hot. But on the plus side, the temperature regulation of this light is excellent. It remains mostly warm during testing. And, you know, I didn't need to use the handle at all in terms of heat management. Second consideration, again, this isn't a small light. Okay, it's a backpack flashlight something that you chuck in a bag but it goes without saying for a light with close to two kilometers of throw you've also got three 21 700 cells in there so you're going to get extra sustained runtime on this light especially on the lower modes if you look at even the 40 percent mode there overall if you're looking for the best value high performing long distance flashlight the three times 21d is an excellent option i think the three times 21700 configuration will make sure that you get sustained performance you're not going to be worried about running out of juice especially on a long trip the lights um, just blows everything else that i have out of the water this thing can out throw a couple of my lep flashlights and even with one of my lep flashlights that throws 2.3 kilometers you just don't get the benefit of that large hot spot and all the spill that comes with this light it makes it quite a a valuable spotlight the price tag also makes this quite an attractive 
option when you compare it with other similar lights out there. So if you're interested, yeah, check out the description. I've put a link directly to Simon's store. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button so I can get my videos out to more people. If you want to see more of these flashlight reviews, also just make sure you subscribe. Convoy 3x21D on turbo. This just, just drowns everything out, close range. Look at that. Those trees out of the back. Two, three, third mode is still just as effective. Turbo. field here and you can see that building there on the distance towards the right as well it's easily hitting those trees in this field bit of a trail here to the left Convoy 3x21D after the turn down the exposure of my camera because it just keeps blowing it out. But let's put this straight onto turbo and look at that. It's a serious spotlight. Almost can't you almost can't believe it. And the beam is actually it's actually that bright in the night sky, you can just see it off in the distance, 1.8 kilometers of throat, able to reach that tree all the way through the center of that clearing there. And around about a minute, the light starts to step down, so I'm gonna just keep on 
holding it onto this mode just to show you what the output looks like still and still retains still retains a lot of its power a lot of the throw uh, look at that it's just this there we go step down now so you can see um, it's not as powerful as it was before but tell you what still able to hit that tree right in the back through that clearing turbo activation again all you got to do is just double click and it will reactivate that turbo mode I just need a, a longer longer uh, field or something like this to test this out in cycle through the different modes you can see what uh, what you get okay I'll just put it on so basically this is the ramp mode that you can use okay but what you can also do is put it onto another mode one two three four five six just to the step mode okay one two three four okay so you've got the four modes Two, three, four. Okay. The fourth mode is basically 100%. Incredible. And even that 40% mode, as you can see here, that is enough to still illuminate that tree all the way through that clearing. <laughs> 